I, I just, I just can't. What's going on guys and welcome to another reputized video. The Possession of Hannah Grace was directed by Derek Van Rogen and stars Shay Mitchell and Kirby Johnson. And it's all about this cop who gets out of rehab and takes a job at a seedy hospital morgue where a bizarre and violent event starts happening from an evil entity in one of the corpses. <sighs> okay, getting right into the positive folks and there's not much. There's not much. Mm. As usual, the cinematography and the lighting was done really well. Leonard Hillage, he lit it up to a point to where you feel the spookiness at the same time. That you understood what was going on and you, you could see visually what was going on. Although, it did get a little tiresome when the lights kept on flickering in that morgue. And she kept on having to do this. After a while, that got a little tiresome. They were trying to make it scary. But it got boring really fast. John Frizzle's score was done pretty well. He's the guy that did 13 Ghosts, Ghost Ship, I Still Know What You Did Last Summer, and many others. I always liked his film scores, especially for horror movies. Stanley Kalk and Jake York's editing style wasn't bad at all. Although I do have some issues with some shaky cameras that went on in it. Other than that, the editing wasn't all that bad. And here comes the negatives, folks. Think of a wave. Brian Sieve's story was just so bland, so weak. I almost fell asleep a couple times. I drifted off. I was like this. Whoa. The story was just so stupid. It was just about this demon that was possessing this corpse in a morgue taunting this girl. How many times has that happened? Seriously. The way it was presented, it was not scary. It was stupid. It was cheaply made. Just stop it. The characters in it was boring. I didn't find them the least bit interesting. Even the main character played by Shay. When I found out what happened to her, at that point, I really didn't care because the movie wasn't giving itself a chance. The movie wasn't giving me a chance. It was just planned. I didn't care for any of them. And this goes hand in hand. The pacing was very slow. It just felt like the scares and the jump scares, which is also a negative I have. It was so dull. It's like they were trying, but at the same time, they were like, screw you, audience. We're going to mess up on purpose. So like I said, the jump scares fell flat. I hardly jumped at all except for two scenes, and that was it. This is an 86-minute movie. Thank you. God. I would have rather been possessed by that demon than go another 30 minutes or whatever. When it came to showing the girl demon, Hannah Grace, the corpse. Oh, that's very interesting. It's this corpse that arrives at the morgue and she's got cuts and bruises all up to her neck. And when the demon takes over, it's like, what? What the hell? I swear, guys, I turned into a pile of goo by the time she showed up. Derek's direction was just all over the map. I don't feel like he knew what he was doing. Although, I do think this is his first film credit, so I shouldn't bash the man completely. When you start off making a movie, you're going to make mistakes. Now, unless you're really, really good professional like James Wan was with Saul. But other than that, the direction was just off the charts. Everything was just misplaced. I just felt like he needed a little more help than what he got. Plus, the material didn't work either. The script and everything, like, it depends on what you work with. It thrives on how good a movie is directed. So I think that may have a lot to do with it. Guys, this movie just felt like a definite cash grab, and it was very cheaply made. It reminded me a little bit of how some of those straight-to-DVD movies does. Something like that, that's what this one kind of reminded me of. And all those look the same, really cheaply. These direct-to-DVD movies, those filmmakers has an excuse, actually has an excuse. 
This one didn't. It was released theatrically, as a lot of y'all know. There was no reason why this movie couldn't have been better than it was. My final thoughts, it sucked. Don't waste your movie. The end. Guys, the possession of Hannah Grace gets an F. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, get reputized. Make sure to subscribe to the Reactor Reactions Galore, which is in the link down in the description below. And also make sure to like the Reactor and the Repster on Facebook, which is also in the link down in the description below. What did y'all guys think of the possession of Hannah Grace? Did y'all like it or did you think it sucked like I did? Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. Peace or about.